one thing I'm interested in is someone, I mean, you, you sent me that video from Moss News Weekly a few weeks ago, seven plate a side squat for eight <laughs> pro and I'm not talking half <laughs> shitty reps here we're talking proper reps oh. how that how on earth have you managed to keep and you're so strong on all your body parts how have you managed to keep that waist so small what's the secret um well Phil has me like I, I can't do proper vacuums but he has me like cats in the vacuum okay as as a as a as a tool but I think also I'm not an overeater so right. I think a lot of that comes from like I feel very adamant about blood glucose readings. So, you know, you're, you're, you're a diabetic guy. So, you know, the importance of, of blood sugar and whatnot. Yep. And I, I try to be in a sensible range before I go stuff in my face. So I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm never compiled with food. I'm never, I don't eat until I'm ready. And I think that's contributed to keeping my waist down because in the past I would have uh. eaten carbs galore all day, every day, blown out, force it down, whether I like it or not. Now, you know, we eat when the body's ready, not when the clock says. That's interesting. So it's totally different. Do you know... Yeah, it really works. It may I... It's interesting you oh, say yeah. that because um, when Zach Khan told me what he eventually adopted that, that principle of eating when you're ready, and he said it really brought his waist in. He said he before he used to have like a bit of, he competed in 2015 and he, he had a bit of a stomach and, and he said afterwards, he said, I just went back. I didn't force feed myself. I went back to eating when I was hungry. And he said, my waist, yeah. everything else stayed the same size, but his waist really yeah. came in. Look, look, at the end of the day, yeah, it's about nutrient uptake. And if you're compiling yourself with food, yeah. how much of that you actually absorb in mm. uh, and how much of that is sitting around in the stomach and causing stretching to occur. Mm. Cause it's stretching at the end of the day. You've only got so much space in your body. Mm. Um, and again, it's another stress. If things are hanging around your body for too long, things become quite toxic and your body has to deal with that in one way or another. Mm. So inflammation is going to be pretty high. So stomach inflammation is going to be exaggerated, which is going to cause you to look somewhat, you know, what they call GH cut, which probably isn't even that. It probably is because of the food. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just just like if I could advise anyone, just like, eat when you're ready to eat, not when, not just because the bodybuilder says you should eat every two hours, because that's not the truth. Mm. It really isn't.